Hi all, welcome to my shop. Today we're going to turn a fast, fun uh, little project and make a pillbox like this out of a scrap piece of wood. And it's, they make wonderful gifts and be treasured by the recipients. You might have a piece of scrap of, could be a cherry, it could be almost any kind of uh, hardwood. Or if you've got some exotic scraps around like this piece of ebony or marble wood, so much the better. Now I've got to warn you, this project does take a smaller set of jaws than your normal jaws unless you plan on turning a much larger piece of wood. The piece of wood we're starting out with is about three inches long, maybe a, a, could be a, a, a bit longer than that, and about a, a, an inch thick. You want to mark center because if you're turning it this way with the chuck jaws, and I'm doing that because I'm going to use these chuck jaws anyway, but you could also start this project off between centers. And I'm using a little set of uh, record power spicket, spicket jaws, and I'm going to go ahead and leave tailstock support there for just a, just a moment while I round this off. And take very small peeling cuts. I'm using a piece of uh, very hard exotic wood ebony. and parting tool to make a small tenon. You just turn the tenon to match whatever jaw set you're going to be using. Now again I'm going to, I'm going to use the uh, tail stock to, to get this centered. I've already marked center. Okay, so we've got touching on the tenon, good fit. We'll set it down. So I measure it for the final thickness of 7 eighths of an inch and since we want it 3 inches long I'm going to go ahead and mark that uh, dimension of at least the base right here. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got just a tiny little divot there in the center. Now we're going to find that the trick to hollowing this, this thing is having two drill bits that are an eighth of an inch apart. So in my case I'm going to use a 5 eighths inch and a half inch. The 5 eighths is going to be for the top. So we're going to drill that first. I like I like to mount the drill bit off the lathe so I can make sure it's centered and it doesn't doesn't wallow like it would if it's off center. Tighten it up. I'm not going to drill faster than about 500. That's plenty fast for this hard wood. I could measure how deep I want to drill and mark that on the drill bit, but I find a relative reference on the drill bit whenever I can, which is just the edge of the drill bit. If it starts smoking, you know it's uh, getting hot. If you got a little divot you want to get rid of, you can go in there with a smaller, uh, small scraper, but it's really not an issue. Now I like to, to support this with a 60 degree cone like this. You can get these on my Amazon shop for about, about $20. Uh, but if you've got a original equipment uh, live center where it won't won't fit in a, a, a large hole. You can actually make a cone like this. I'll have a link to that uh, video above. So we transfer the inside diameter to the outside and then we allow ourselves so about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths for the top to allow room for texturing. Then we, then we uh, go ahead and start parting it off. Pull the tailstock off of the way to finish it. So now that we've got it parted off, uh, we're going to prepare the tenon because we're going to use the tenon as a jam chuck as we finish the very top of the box. So uh, we're going to allow ourselves just a little room so it doesn't bottom out. So we'll measure just short of five eighths, uh, five eighths of an inch. We could use a parting tool or skew to take this tenon down. This beating party tool works well. We're going to get the speed up a little bit to uh, 1850. 
could go faster. And then we just take a little uh, uh, edge off of it there. Uh, then bring the rest of it down to size. Do a trial fit. Take the tip of it down a little bit more. And we keep going back and forth until we get several, uh, several tries. And until we get a good, nice, snug, snug fit. Now, that's just about perfect. That's a nice, snug, snug fit. Now I'm gonna We're going to flatten the top of the box with this negative rake scraper. First thing we got to do is remove the burr. When you're dealing with very, very hard wood such as this uh, ebony or using acrylic or in the old days uh, ivory, they couldn't use a burr. It's just too aggressive and causing a problem. So, so we don't have to get this perfectly flat, but we're just going to uh, smooth it out a little bit. We're going to use a little uh, uh, lubricant uh, on our sandpaper, go through the various grits. We slow the lathe down to about 400 as we sand and now we're going to turn a little bead on each end of the box the tool rest because it's got a little saddle on it i want a cut on center with a handle handle up just a little bit and i need to probably think a little bit about where i'm going to make that bead so i don't cut into the bead just kind of give myself a target here. We're going to turn this speed up to no more than 450. Sure. So slowly re-engage it. Just wheel it back and forth. Round over the end here, just ever so slightly. Come in there, make a tiny bead. Drop the handle, roll it. Drop the handle, roll it. this tool right here. And ease it in from the right hand side to engage the wood. So I think what I'm going to do instead of that I'm going to go back and see if I can't sand off some lower that and instead of the parting tool I think I'm going to use a beating tool and just rock it back and forth. Abrasive sanding paste because it's handy. Rub it in. I think we'll do a little bit on the outside here. And I think that's got it. Now we're going to take that off. So I measure how deep I need to drill from the outer edge to the bottom. It's more function of the style size of the box. Then I'm going to transfer that to the very tip of the drill bit. If I don't allow for that tip, I could go through the bottom when I... For the bottom of the box, I really prefer a, a twist a drill bit rather than the Forstner bit. It just seems a little easier to work. Round over the edge here, a little bit at the edge. Take a bead with the beading and parting tool. And then here, down there, the far edge, and do the same.
Okay, I want to show you a quick trip. If you uh, tip, if you get a kind of somewhat of a sloppy fit uh, between the lid, one way you can salvage it is just simply put a uh, thin bead of uh, thin CA. You can put that on the uh, just the tenon. See how that works. You can put it on the inside. It disguises better on the inside than it does on the tenon. You can put on both. Another little uh, uh, trick, if you've got just a very slight difference, uh, you can always use a small lump of uh, beeswax. Apply that beeswax while it's hot, uh, or while it's spinning at a fairly good speed. Then come back with some uh, paper towel and really heat it up a little bit, get, it, get that wax to go in into the uh, wood. And that, that can fix a lot of uh, uh, sloppy, sloppy fits. Okay, we're going to part this off. Uh, actually, rather than part it off, what we're going to do is we're going to change chucking methods. We're going to quickly switch this from, from a chuck to a jam chuck mandrel. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to switch to a half inch uh, mandrel that I've turned. We, I've got a link up this for the video on how you can do that. I'm going to put that in and that's like I say that's a half inch and that will fit this. If it's not snug enough we can put a little bit of uh, masking tape on it and we can bring up a soft touch. Uh, this one I kind of burn the end of it on doing the doing the, the cap, which uh, wasn't bad, left me a nice uh, feature here, but I don't want to damage it anymore. So let's bring up a soft touch. So I'm using my Nova Live Center with a little stubby number two Morse taper and a little bit of nylon there. And let's go ahead and just tighten that up. I've already measured the depth. So the depth is just just inside here. I'm going to just go right outside. Make a parting mark right here. actually back this off because I've only got just a tiny little bit going there. Okay. Now I want this bottom to be absolutely flat because I like these uh, my my personal choice is for these things to be flat enough to stand. So let's orient this here back forward. We're going to use negative right scraper to just kind of clean up that little bump on the bottom and slightly concave it. Okay, let's see how it's flat. Let's get this out of the way. We're going to touch that, see if it's slightly concave. I think it is. I think we could do it just a touch more. And then we're going to sand that off with multiple grits. Starting with 150 grit. And now I think I do want to put just a tiny little feature on the bottom. So let's get a texturing tool for that. Slide, we rotate it out. Let it come across. And we can polish that up, of course, with a little uh, sanding wax. There's some on the end of this. We'll just use it. Tell me how you come out with your pillbox. If you like it, click on the like button. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.